Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to the ABECC and welcome to music class. My name is Miss Jacobs and I am your music teacher. I love to sing, I love to play guitar and ukulele. I love to watch funny shows, make jokes, and listen to new music. I have a husband named Frank and a very fat cat named Raymundo, and he's my baby. Before I became a music teacher, I was a cook, a mail lady, a maid, an emergency dispatcher, and a nanny for little babies. But my favorite job is to teach music to kindergartners like you. We are going to have so much fun this year, boys and girls. Music class. We see here some music notes, and here's Miss Jacob sliding down a rainbow. That looks like fun. <laughs> this is my Bitmoji. And that looks just like me, right? We got the red hair and the glasses. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Music class. Oh, I have a joke. First things first. Ready? What do you call a cow who likes to make music? Hmm. What do we call a cow who likes to make music? A musician. <laughs> That's a good one. Get it? It's like a musician, but it's a musician. That's funny. That's silly. I like making jokes. All right. So we've got, what are we going to do in music class this year? This is what we're doing. We are going to listen to all kinds of beautiful music. That's on our docket this year. We're going to be singing songs together. We're going to learn how to keep a steady beat on our bodies and hopefully with some instruments that we can make in your house. We are going to try some dancing together. We're not going to be together in a classroom, but we are going to be able to do the same dances that I will teach in this virtual classroom. Um, we're also going to practice some cool musical ideas like beat, rhythm, melody, tempo, and dynamics. Wow, that's a lot of big words. Uh, be excited because we are going to learn a lot about music this year. Now, Miss Jacobs has a couple of expectations for what virtual music class will look like. Number one, you should find a quiet place in your house. This is a place that doesn't have a TV playing. Uh, this is a place where maybe you can sit somewhere quietly uh, and you won't be distracted because it will be just time for learning about music. This little girl on my screen has found a nice little table to work at. Um, and if you could find somewhere like that where there's no other phones or screens or distractions, that would be perfect. We're gonna follow directions in music class. So sometimes Miss Jacobs will tell you that it's time for you to sing. I'm not gonna be able to hear you because I'm recording from far away. But I will tell you when it's time to sing. Sometimes I'll tell you when it's time to dance. Um, and we, in music class, we always follow directions for that. Now, this is a really important concept in my class. It's called Be My Echo. Hmm. I wonder what it means to be an echo. Do any of you know what the word echo means? I want you to think about it for a second. And then we're going to watch this video where we can hear what an echo is. Here we go. Did you hear that? <laughs> How cool is that? How cool is that? So an echo is when we make one sound and then another sound is exactly the same right afterwards. It's like, it's like this trumpet. He played one sound and it bounced off the wall and came right back to him. So Miss Jacobs says, be my echo. That means you make the exact same sound. Let's practice what that means to be my echo. So Miss Jacobs goes first. I say, be my echo. Me, 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 me. 
you sing me 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 good job all right so that is be my echo you sing the exact same sound next rule is do what i do so this is kind of like an echo so this is kind of like an echo. It means whatever I do, you copy me. You can be a copycat. So if I put my hands on my head and I say, do what I do, you put your hands on your head. If I jump up and down, I say, do what I do, and you jump up and down. That's another rule in music class. If I spin in a circle, I say, do what I do, and you spin in a circle. So that is how you do what I do. Sometimes we'll be dancing and I will say, do what I do before the dance starts. And then you're gonna copy everything I do for the whole dance. So that is why we've got these little twins here because they like to do exactly what their sister does. So you're gonna copy me exactly what I do. If you hear Miss Jacobs say, do what I do. And the most important rule in music class is I can try. So in music class, sometimes we're gonna be we're gonna be singing a lot, we're gonna be dancing a lot, and that might make you feel a little bit nervous because maybe you've never sung a lot or you haven't danced a lot and you're not sure if you can do it. But we know that the more we practice, that the better we get. Isn't that amazing? The more we practice, the better we get because every single kid can learn how to be a good singer. Hooray! Every single kid can learn how to be a good dancer. That's just part of being a human being. You can get good at music. So we practice and we always say, I can try. So what are we going to be doing today in music class? Today we are going to explore our voices. We are going to learn a new song. We're going to play a quick game and we are going to listen to a song tale. A song tale is a very special song that's actually a story. Okay, so we are going to start our music class officially by learning a little bit about the things our voices can do. Did you know that you have four different voices, four different voices inside of your body? I want you to be my echo, please. This is my speaking voice. So when I point to you, that means it's your turn to be my echo. So when I point to Miss Jacobs, it's my turn. When I point to you, it's your turn. So you're gonna be my echo and we're gonna learn about our four voices. Ready? This is my speaking voice. <gasps> Did you do it? Nice work. Let's try that again. This is my speaking voice. This is my speaking. I use it every day. I use it every day. Nice work. That's one of our voices. How about this one? This is my whisper voice. This is my whisper voice. It's quieter this way. It's quieter this way. Were you my echo? Did you say exactly what I said? Awesome job. That's what our whisper voice sounds like. Very quiet. Our next voice. Now, our next voice is a great big loud voice, but if we use a great big loud voice in our house, we might scare our mom or we might scare our cat. So we need to use a pretend loud outdoor voice. I know you guys all know how to get loud, but we're gonna use a pretend voice and it looks like this, ready? Be my echo. This is my yelling voice. I use it to talk loud. Nice job. I'm glad that you didn't actually scream because you might have woken up a baby sister or baby brother. Oh no. Good job not screaming. So we used our speaking voice, our whisper voice, our yelling voice. We've got one other voice that we're gonna try. Be my echo, please. 
This is my singing voice. I use it and I'm proud. Did you try using your singing voice? Did you make your voice sound like mine? Awesome job. We're going to try this whole thing all together. So when I point to me, when Miss Jacobs points to herself, whose turn is it? That's right. It's my turn. When I point to you, whose turn is it? That's right. It's your turn. All right. Let's try our whole little rhyme to learn about our four voices. Ready? This is my speaking voice. This is my speaking voice. I use it every day. I use it every day. This is my whisper voice. This is my whisper voice. It's quieter this way. It's quieter this way. This is my yelling voice. This is my yelling voice. I use it to talk loud. I use it to talk loud. This is my singing voice. This is my singing voice. I use it and I'm proud. I use it and I'm proud. Nice job, boys and girls. Awesome. Question for you. What voice do we think is very special in music class? Speaking, whispering, yelling, or singing? Which voice seems like it would be very important for music class? I know, singing voices. So we learned about our four voices, and now we're gonna see how high and how low our voices can go. Now, on my way to school today, I went right by a big, red, shiny, loud fire truck. And it had its sirens blazing. It might have been on the way to an emergency. Do you want to hear what the siren sounded like? Okay, I'm going to use my singing voice to sound like the siren. Okay, ready? It sounded like this. Woo, 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 woo. Do you think you can use your voice to sound like a fire truck siren? All right, I go first, then you. You're gonna be my echo. Ready? Woo, 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 woo. Your turn. Awesome. And right behind that fire truck was an ambulance. And the ambulance sounded like this. Be my echo, your turn. Nice job. And behind the ambulance came a police car. And the police car sounded like this. Can you try that? Be my echo. Nice job. Now these guys must have been on the way to save the day in some sort of an emergency. And I hope everybody made it out okay. Good job using your voices to sound like sirens. Should we do it one more time? Because it's so much fun. All right, let's do our fire truck. Ready? Woo, 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 woo. Your turn. How about our ambulance? Nice. And our police car. Ooh, woo, woo, woo. Good job, boys and girls. Next up, I know a song about a fire truck. Would you like to hear how it goes? Okay. This song is called Fire, Fire, Fire. It is one of my favorites. Now, I want you to do what I do. Do you remember earlier when Miss Jacobs said, do what I do means you copy exactly what I'm doing. So when you're at home, while you're watching this video, can you put your hands up just like me? I want to make them, there they go. <laughs> just like me. 
and you're going to copy exactly what I do. Can you do this with your hands? Close, open, closed, open, closed, open. Now, Miss Jacobs is going to sing her song. Whenever I say the word fire, you're going to do this with your hands. Fire, fire, fire. Do you think you can try that? Fire, fire, fire. All right, your job is to be a blinking fire alarm. All right, Miss Jacobs sings. You do this motion with your hands. All right, ready? Fire, fire, fire. Hear the whistle blowing. Fire, fire, fire. Everybody's going. Climb the ladder. Squirt the hose with a ch, ch, ch. Out the fire goes. Interesting. That is an interesting song. Let's hear it again. So your job is to do a big, it's hard for me to match up the size of my hands. There we go. <laughs> You're going to do a big fire, fire, fire whenever you hear Miss Jacobs sing those words. Can you do that? Big hands, big hands. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Hear the whistle blowing. Fire, fire, fire. Everybody's going. Climb the ladder. Squirt the hose with a ch. Out the fire goes. Nice work, boys and girls. That is one of my favorite songs. I wonder, so you are just learning fire, fire, fire. Do you think you can join me? Can you do hear the whistle blowing? So that's your next motion. I want you to do what I do. So you're going to do fire, fire, hear the whistle blowing, fire, fire, fire everybody's going and i would love for you to stand up when we're dancing in the song everybody's going let's try that ready we start with fire 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 hear the whistle blowing good job fire 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 everybody's going awesome you did fire you did here, you did everybody's going. The next part is climb the ladder. So you're gonna pretend like you're climbing up a ladder. Maybe you're at the playground climbing up a ladder. Climb the ladder, you try that. Climb the ladder, good job. And next we squirt the hose. You're gonna hold on to a big heavy fire hose. They are really big and really heavy. I don't know if you've ever seen them on a fire truck. If you've ever seen a fire hose before in real life, you can leave me a comment below because they are pretty cool. So you're going to hold up your big heavy fire hose. We say squirt the hose, squirt the hose. So we have climb the ladder, squirt the hose, and then we make a sound like the water coming out of the hose. We say, ch, ch, ch. you wanna try that? Ready? Ch, ch, ch. Awesome. And our very last move, out the fire goes. And we pretend like we're big flames. Your hands are big flames. Can you try that? Out the fire goes. Awesome. We're gonna keep working on this song for the next couple of weeks. Let's try it one more time today. Ready? We start with our hands up, stand at home, so that you can really do this dance. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Hear the whistle blowing. Fire, fire, fire. Everybody's going. Climb the ladder. Squirt the hose with a ch, ch, ch. Out the fire goes. Yay! Good job, boys and girls. And that's the first song that you're learning in kindergarten music. Awesome job. Awesome job, boys and girls. We are going to play a game next. Now, this game is really fun, and it's all about keeping a steady beat. Next week, we're going to learn exactly what it means to keep a steady beat. But for today, we're just going to play a game that lets us 
keep our beat nice and steady. It's called chop, chop, chippity, chop. You need to bring your knife to this game because we are chefs at a restaurant and we always bring our tools. So this is my knife. Can you hold up your knife? Now my knife is just my hand. We're playing pretend, right? So you've got, I got my knife, you have your knife. And we also have our cutting board. And we're gonna chop up some ingredients to make some soup. Now, Miss Jacobs is gonna say the rhyme. Can you chop with me? That's right, we're, keep, we're starting with a nice steady beat. We're gonna chop up a potato to put in our soup. Ready? Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What we have left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. So we chopped up one potato to put in our soup. What other ingredient could we put in our soup? <gasps> Let's put some chicken in our soup. Can you take some chicken? Look up! <laughs> and you're gonna put it on your cutting board and you're gonna raise your knife. I'll know you're ready when you look like me. Ready? <gasps> chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What we have left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. What else can go in our soup? I like this game, it's pretty funny. What else can we put in our soup today? Potatoes, chicken. <gasps> Let's put some carrots in there. Can you take a carrot? Take your knife. I'll know you're ready when you look like me. <gasps> chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What we have left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. All right, we've got potatoes in our soup. What else do we have? That's right, chicken. And we just put in carrots. Awesome, what else could we add to make this the most delicious? It sounds like we're making chicken noodle soup. So maybe we should add some celery next. Great idea, Miss Jacobs. Celery is delicious in soup. So take your celery, put it down on your chopping board. Knives are high. Mmm, look at that crunchy celery. Ready? <gasps> chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What we have left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Let's give our soup a stir. It's starting to smell good. Look at all that yummy soup stirring around there. Can you take a deep breath? Mmm, that smells delicious. We need one more secret ingredient for our chicken noodle soup. How about some noodles? Maybe we take some spaghetti and we can chop it up and put it in our chicken noodle soup. Ready? Take your spaghetti. Take your knife. Let's chop it up for our soup. Ready? Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What we have left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. <gasps> Give it a big stir. Round and round. Big sniff. Mmm. <gasps> now we're gonna pour ourselves a bowl. <gasps> for you and for me. And let's eat. <gasps> Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Thanks for making some soup with me today, boys and girls. That was fun. All right, we have time for one more song today for our very first music class. This is time for our song tale. Now, this is a story that's also a song. Now, if I were to hum a tune, I wonder if you would know what song it is. Ready? that song. What song was it? All oh, right, it is Old MacDonald. Now I'm sure that you all know Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. But 
not only did Old MacDonald have a farm full of animals, those animals also played in his band. A band is any group of musicians. So a band could be a guitar player, a piano player, a trumpet player, a DJ, a singer. All these people can be in a band. Old MacDonald had a band and all his animals like to play instruments. So let's find out what instruments his animals play. Ready? Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in his band, he had a guitar, E-I-E-I-O. With a strum strum here and a strum strum there. Here a strum, there a strum, everywhere a strum strum. He had a guitar in his band. What's next? Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in that band, he had a drum, E-I-E-I-O. With a boom, boom here and a boom, boom there. Here a boom, there a boom, everywhere a boom, boom. Old MacDonald had a band. up a little bit there. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in that band, he had a piano, E-I-E-I-O. With a punk, punk here and a punk, punk there. Here a punk, there a punk, everywhere a punk, punk. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. All right, so Old MacDonald a guitar, he had a drum, he had a piano. I wonder what other instrument he had in his band. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in that band he had a singer, E-I-E-I-O. With a la la here and a la la there, here and la there and la everywhere. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in that band he had a... What should we do next? Maybe he had a... Trumpet! What would a trumpet say? Hmm, how about... I have a good idea. What about toot toot? And in that band he had a trumpet, E-I-E-I-O. With a toot toot here and a toot toot there. Here a toot, there a toot, everywhere a toot toot. Old MacDonald had a band, E-I-E-I-O. Boys and girls, Thank you for listening. Thank you for being my echo. Thank you for trying some new things today. We say, I can try. And I will see you next week on our virtual music lesson. Bye-bye.